wide web. The invention that connected the world. Many people think that the internet and the world wide web are very the same thing. While they are closely linked, they are very different systems. The internet is a huge network of computers all connected, but it was the world wide web that made the technology into something that linked information together and made it accessible to everyone. In essence, the World Wide Web is a collection of web pages found on this network of computers. Your browser uses the internet to access the world. Recent commercial interest it's used within the organization under internet password takes it into the domain of smaller, closed groups in which greater trust allows more interaction. In the future, we look toward the web becoming a tool for even smaller groups, families, and personal information systems. Other interesting developments would be the increasingly interactive nature of the interface to the user, and the increasing use of machine-readable information with defined semantics allowing more advanced machine processing of global information, including machine-readable signed assertions. Did you know that Sir Tim Berners-Lee is the one who created the first ever website? It was hosted by CENR in Switzerland. The research when was the World Wide Web created? In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist, invented the World Wide Web or WWW in 1989. While working at CERN, the web was originally conceived and developed to meet the demand of automated information sharing between scientists in universities and institutes around the world. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. The publishing format for the web, it includes the ability to format documents and link to other documents and resources. URL, or Uniform Search Locator. The URL is a kind of address that is unique to each resource on the web. It could be the address of a web page or an image file. HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol allows HTML documents to be requested and transmitted between browser and web servers via the internet. Web server a computer where files are stored which can be accessed by the internet using HTTP. In 1992, the first web server outside of Europe was set up at Stanford University in the USA. All the early web servers had been set up in Europe. This was the first in America. There were only 10 known web servers around the world in 1992. In 1993, CERN allowed anyone to use the web protocols and code for free. The technologies that had been developed to make the World Wide Web became open source so that anyone could use them for free. People started to create websites for personal and online businesses. The number of known web servers increased to 50 during 1993. 1994, telecommunications companies started to provide internet access. Access to the World Wide Web started to become available in people's homes. The number of web servers increased to 623. In 1994, the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C, was founded by Sir Tim Berners-Lee. The w 3 3C is the organization that makes sure that the World Wide Web continues to Evolution of the World Wide Web The first websites were made up of simple pages of just words and pictures, a bit like online books or magazines. Most people couldn't create their own web pages. Back then, to make a web page, you had to write HTML code by hand. Web 2.0 As the web began to develop, people started communicating and sharing more. They on the web and to share it. This new type of web became known as used social network sites and blogs. It became much easier to create your own content. Web 2.0 The new updated web will enable the person-to-person -person sharing and collaboration. 
Sir Tim Bursley and Startup Interrupt are hoping to address the current situations and issues with the open web. They're designing a web where people have a single sign-on for any service and personal data is stored in pods controlled by the user. Although the way people use the web has changed, the technologies haven't. Many of the technologies that run the first web pages are The modern web. The web is still changing today. Search engines have become better at reading, understanding, and process information. They have found clever ways to find the content we want and can even show us other things that might interest us. The importance of the World Wide Web It connected the world in a way that was not possible before and made it much easier for people to get information, share, and communicate. It also allowed people to share their work and thoughts through social networking sites, blogs, and video sharing. As we have seen, the World Wide Web has facilitated the sharing of information between people all over the world. It has given anyone with an internet connection access to a plethora of information, the capacity to freely communicate with anyone else on the online, and the potential to start their own business or platform if they so wish. World Wide Web changed the world in terms of information and communication. The main advantage of using the World Wide Web for language learning are it facilitates greater exposure to authentic language, access to a wide range of sources of information and to different varieties of language, opportunities for interaction and communications, and greater learners for participation.